just when you thought it was safe to go back on the internet, Julie and the Bear decided to do another video. Episode 40! 40. 40. 40. 40. That's kind of significant. 40 is a big number. We haven't done this in a long time. I, we took a big break off. Why? Why is? Why did we take a break? Why? Why? Because I hit you, and you needed to repair your your face, your facial. Your, can you see that? I I beat him up, people. <laughs> no, he beat me up. Look at this. I mean, I like it. It's a butterfly. We're get emails it's, and... it's not. It's not skull and crossbones. It's butter. It's a butterfly. But you know what? You're not. You're supposed to. You're not supposed to wear this. It kind of weakens the other, the, oh. the eyes underneath here. It's supposed to get weaker, but you, okay. I did okay, get it well, at, at work because I have a huge sty under here. So That's the real reason. It's the real. Okay. So it's not going to be domestic violence prevention awareness episode? I don't know. It still could be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, it's not just men beating up on women. No, it's wives. not. It's not. It's wives beating up on husbands sometimes. What do I have that, to beat you up with? That, I that have does nothing. happen sometimes. Yeah. And you know, it's not just husbands and wives. Even if you're living in sin, it's still bad to beat up on the person you're living with. Yes. It's bad to beat up on the person you're living with. It's, it doesn't, it so never that's, works. That's the bad idea it's like segment you're of the off show. The, the other half of you. That's, that's the bad idea segment, to beat up on, the, on your spouse or your significant other. Don't but, do it. Anyone would have never forgiven me because of what he did to his hair, right? I mean, look at it, it's growing back. How many weeks has it been? Several. Three. Okay, this, yeah, this, Three. Isn't, this isn't real. This isn't. But his hair grew all back. Look at that. Look at it. He's all back. It grew back really quick. Do you take Rogaine or how do you get that to grow back so Just quick? a lot of testosterone? I don't know. Can you guys turn your head for a minute? I'd, like I'd like to deal with this. <laughs> this is the domestic violence. Arr, it looks really good, doesn't it? I'm going to take like a pirate a wench now. Pirate, pirate wench. My pirate wench. Arr, pirate wench. You're drinking out of the... I made this glass. This is my crafty palm, glass. Palm house. I didn't... Yeah. Yep. This is my arts and crafts. I do a lot of arts and crafts. Speaking I must... I just have to just... Put it out there. I'm so sorry. This is my fault why we haven't done this for a while. Look, I mean, this is disgusting. It's looking a little bit better now. Oh, oh, it's so bright in there. Can you see that? I'm showing you my sty. This is what a sty looks like it's on the upper smaller. lid. No, it's it's small now because you were with me when it got lanced, right? And we went in to go see the doctor, the next doctor. Taken care of you. Yep, and he and he lanced it, and Barry didn't okay. even flinch. I'm like, Mr. How come Ice we... Man. I know. I'm like, did he didn't he even turn green at all? And he goes, No, he's doing pretty good with that moderate amount of pus that you're getting out of your eye. Hey, do you think we need a theme song for Julie and the Bear? No. No theme song. No. What do you guys think? Theme I... song, Fire and Ice. Where did that come from? I have no idea. I know. Uh, I know. Back but to speaking, my eye because of, the, the, speaking of, of palm no, house no, no. Oh, we got to talk about what happened to my eye. No, we're, I think it's, we're it's done talking about your eye. It's a log in my eye. Oh, okay. Can we talk about low judgment? Sure. sure. And what's going on here with the recipient.com and the birds and me just trying to be a nurse and trying to live with the visionary. Yeah, look at you. Look, oh, oh, I'm going to get you right in. I can't see very good. You're right in the middle of your heads. It's like you got four heads. Can you see that? It's Barry, anyway, Barry, anyway. Barry, and Barry. You're saying you are amazing. Well, thank you. And I, I, I've put up with enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Arr, I'm gonna go walk my own plank. <laughs> I don't know. I just the log in my eye. That's what I'm talking about. Like, why did I have this dye show up in my eye? I'm like, Lord, why? Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Sometimes things just happen, right? I mean, things can happen, and it's just like a whatever kind of thing. Okay. But, you know, it, it's interesting. Right. I, okay, we can move on, but if anybody okay. has any input, and would they, if they want to work further on us okay. with speaking, that, speaking that's good. Of Palm House, I think it's time for a shout-out to... To Randy Becker, our oh new producer. Oh my goodness, he's, you're he's, doing it. Randy is, has joined us on, uh, joined Jeff and me and 
Paul Mouse Productions. Randy and he Becker. is uh, You're he's awesome. A, You're awesome. He's a Hollywood producer. He's also been an actor. And he uh, he's known Jeff for a while. And uh, he read our script and he liked it. And he's excited about what we're doing. And he's on board now. He's going to help us fill in all the blanks and make this thing go to Hollywood. Yeah, this is really this is exciting. incredible. This is I, I so, don't even... Randy, I salute you. I, I can't wait Welcome to meet you. Welcome aboard. Yay, this is going to be really fun. Yeah. And, and what's... What, what is this now? This is the real... The manger scene? Yeah. What? I'm... I'm <laughs> mother Alstine, your mother and I, we spent the last two days purging the, the garage of all of Christmas. And this is all that's left is the manger scene in which we are now actually saying this is the new year right now because we're in the Jewish New the Year. Jewish New Year. The year so 5778, by the we, way. As you and me, as a husband and wife, we tend to follow the Jewish feast a little bit more than the regular traditional holiday feast, which is like Christmas and Easter. So this is really the birth and the birthday celebration of, of baby Jesus. You see baby Jesus in there? He ain't no baby. He's a big old he's the, he's the king, major yes. king. Okay. <laughs> moving along king. to moving along to the next segment. What? We did our bad idea segment. That's you know beating up on your significant other. How about um, we did we 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 drew spontaneously for a topic and we got female finances. Oh, you how, how funny is that? You can, you, do, you, you come what, on in and what you, just, may you, you ask, tell everyone all about female finances and I'll just back up. Okay, what, what you may ask is you know, female finances. The world. So sometimes Julie will come home and say, put my hair oh, off. Oh, you sorry. Oh my gosh, girls, you know what it's like when your husband pulls your hair? I didn't He just pulled to. my hair right off. Look at that. I didn't mean to, sorry. You gotta be more gentle with me. Oh, okay. You pull my hair off, off so, my hair. Okay. Anyway. Because female finances, a lot of females out there, they buy hair. They buy and hair. when they don't have enough money to buy hair, they buy hair pieces okay. that look like big ribbons like this, honey. Okay. Anyway. It looks like I have big hair. Anyway. <laughs> Julie will come home and say, honey, I saved us $50 today. And I'll say, really? How did, how did you do that? How did you do that? And she'll say, that's distracting. I, I could have spent a million dollars on my hair pieces and getting no, all my that's, hair No, pieces. that's no, not, no, what no. Yeah. not what you're saying. No, no, no. Yeah. I saved you a million dollars because I found a sale. She, right? she bought something for like 75 bucks. I was going to go to... It was going to be 125 but she saved $50. Yeah, I went to Aldi instead of Piggly Wiggly. Or to Cub or to whatever you people have, but we have all okay. these here and they're, they're Okay, that's that's kinda of like that's kinda of like when you and maybe it's a female thing, but when you when you turn the you're you're hot and you turn the thermostat down to like forty. Don't talk about the thermostat. I you, like it. When it's the, hot, I like it engine. cold, and when it's cold I like it yeah, hot. Because if you turn it way yeah. down, the extra engine on the It'll, it'll go like, wait, it'll go like wait, into wait, 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 fifth gear, and it'll. Wait, it'll, wait, it'll, wait! If you love faster. me, you'll understand the female finances. That's that's kind of like. You won't care if I jack it up to eighty-eight degrees when it's really supposed to be seventy-three degrees because it will work that much faster. Right, because the extra engine kicks in. That's like when you're at an you elevator and you push the button, and you push it a lot of times real fast because. It'll sense your impatience and it'll get there faster. It will. It will, yeah. doesn't it? It it's works. It's like your like computer. That. When you hit enter and it's slow, you hit enter again. Yes, it, it works. It works. It, it works. We know it does. Okay, that's anyway female. Because I could do the same thing. I say, hey, honey, I saved us forty three thousand dollars last week. You are a petty pension miser. <laughs> yes, you are. You know how I saved us forty three thousand dollars? You're a petty. Because I, I didn't buy that Hummer I was looking at on, on Craigslist. You ain't gonna get no Hummer. You are not gonna get. I a like I no. Ouch. I like Hummers. Anyway, you should really end. I this saved us forty. Jesus his birthday. I I saved. Happy birthday to you, Jesus. I saved. Happy birthday. To <laughs> this is getting out of control here. Well, we haven't done this in weeks. Okay. We have a lot to talk about. I'm sorry. I think we're, I think we're about winding it down here. Oh, because so. of that right there. Yeah. So I think. I think you've done a wonderful job. I think you've done a wonderful job. Yes, you have. Thanks. 
Yeah, you're gonna be the actor of the recipient, and things are really moving and grooving with the recipient. They're moving up. You're kind of stepping back as the visionary. Well, you're still the visionary. You're the one that thought of of the recipient, but you're stepping back as the writer, and you're letting Jeff Saxton, the producer, kind of take over. He's, the he's things, tweaking the script. Barry to make, to is put the footing, the final yep, touches on the script. Barry is business. With Randy helping. And Randy and Jeff are all about the the creative end of things. There, that's. So stay Maybe. tuned, you guys go to the recipient.com. Well, right? we're, it's right now it's the recipient show. On, on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, the recipient, check it, check you, it out. You know what? You should wear this to bed. I think this would be really cute. Can you, can cut. you cut tonight? <laughs> Wait, maybe on that side. Okay, right, don't cut. cut. I, think so. I think everyone should have playtime. Alright. I think R. Can you give me an R? It's a, okay, okay. What's a favorite, or what's the the pirate <laughs> the favorite movie of the no the favorite the, alphabet alphabet letter R, 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 R. Oh, oh, nobody's so ever sad. heard that oh, okay I'm sorry. anyway I'm sorry. anyway it's time to go <laughs> it's great seeing you guys again although we can't really see you Hamas Productions um, and we hope to see you on the red carpet right yeah so that would be exciting things are really starting to get exciting though I mean yeah. we are really climbing up the mountain it's really Cool. Regardless of the big sty in my eye, don't okay. worry. Even if with a sty and I, you can still be all you can be, and and a bag of chips. Arr. Okay, Arr. we'll see you guys next time. This is the Julie and the Bear signing off. Amen.